Okay, welcome back everybody. A little Armory Chat update on a gun that was checked out recently. Um, it's something that's not really used a whole lot around here. So just by virtue of it being what it is, I thought it was worth noting it. This is a uh, Browning Satori Lightning Sporting Clays Edition 12 gauge over under shotgun. Um, this shotgun was not purchased as a reference gun for the collection. This was actually purchased uh, by myself it's got to be 20 years. I mean, it maybe late 90s, could be early 2000s, early 2000s at the latest. Uh, I guess depending if you know if you're a Browning person, if you know what years these guns were made, that'll kind of help determine the uh, the time frame. As a matter of fact, I was invited to attend a fundraiser type thing, and we didn't have any type of civilian sporting purpose guns, and so. Uh, somebody very knowledgeable kind of pointed us in the right directions and said, you need to buy this gun. This is what, this is going to fit you. This is perfect. And what's really neat about that is, at least for me, is years later, while at a very high-end, world-class type of facility that caters to this kind of shooting, I happened to be there and I'd bring the shotgun and I spent some time with one of their pros. And, you know, I almost made a throwaway comment about, you know, one day maybe I'd like to get like a Blazer over under shotgun, but don't really shoot them enough to, to justify it. And I thought the Blazers were neat because you get the you get the caliber conversions and they all weigh the same. And, you know, I'm a Blazer guy. So, and uh, the pro, he was looking at the gun and he's like, well, number one, this gun fits me perfectly. Um, he actually, you know, measured it and watched me shoot it. And, you know, maybe it's because I've been shooting the same gun for 20 years. I mean, I might not even, I personally might go a couple years without shooting this gun. So, and that actually gets me to why it's out today. So, um, we also, uh, as in a, in a similar vein as what got me into this gun, we know some people that, you know, obviously they're big gun guys, mostly law enforcement officers, and they get invited, wink, wink, highly encouraged to attend fundraisers. And so, instead of going out and buying some fancy gun, they just come over here, check out this over under and, 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 you know, use it and for the day and then bring it back. And, you know, it does, it sits again until, to, until the next year. So, but actually what happened is let's look at the numbers. This gun, 20 years, mind you, when it was checked out, had 977 documented rounds in it. With 75 rounds put in this last time, it was a 75 round course of uh, sporting clays, I guess it was. So we're now at 1,052. And the nice thing is the guy even returned it clean. So got all like that. I mean, I mean, that's not everybody does that. Let's uh, check the ejectors. There's one. Now let's bang it. All right. And. Oh, wow. oh, wait a minute. There we go. I don't even know how to operate the thing. So, just interesting, I thought, just to get it out and look at it. Uh, it's always good to have one good sporting gun. Um, you don't have to have the most expensive gun. Just... In my situation is basically you find one to, uh, you shoot it if, you know, beware of the guy that shoots one gun. Not that I'm any good at any of these uh, wings, uh, uh, throwing bird sports, but you know, if I shoot the same gun all the time, I'm not bad, so I can definitely keep up. As a matter of fact, I think the, uh, the guy who checked this out, he told me out of the 75, the 75 rounds he uh, he fired, he connected, six, I think it was 63 rounds. So not bad for a guy that shoots once a year. So if you want to see any more stories or pictures or links of anything we discuss, please go to our website at john1911.com. That's john1911.com. Remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everybody, have a good day.